So how do you clear your cache? How do you clear your cache on your Mac? Sometimes your Mac could be just running really, really poor. There could be strange errors. There could be strange errors in the operating system on applications that you're opening. And sometimes clearing these out will actually improve the performance of your Mac. There are primarily two places where you're gonna be looking at clearing this out. This is the system cache cache and also the user one as well. So we're gonna be showing you how to do both of those. Hey, before we get into the video, why don't you let me know in the comments, is it cache or cache? I'm an Australian, so I say cash. Everybody that I know, every person that I've ever worked with in technology has called it cash. When I first heard cash, I thought, what is going on? And then I got exposed to the world of Americans and the Brits and others, and they call it cash. So why don't you let me know, is it cash or is it cash? Also, I release a lot of videos around all things tech on the Mac and other stuff. So if you wanna keep up to date with what's going on so you don't miss any of my videos, please also subscribe, click on the button on the bell that you don't miss out on anything. All right, so here we are logged into our Mac. We are, of course, running Mac OS Big Sur, and we're doing this on an M1 based Mac. Of course, the M1 is the Apple processor. This could be done for various reasons to actually speed up the performance of your applications, or perhaps you've got an application that is not performing correctly or there is bugs. You can actually go and clear these out as you so need to. Now, there's two main areas that we're gonna look at where to delete these. The first is in your finder, making sure that it says finder at the top here. We're gonna select go, and then we're gonna select go to folder. Right in here, we're just gonna do a forward slash and then type in library and then select go. Now normally this folder is hidden and is not accessible. So just be very, very careful when you are inside the library folder. Do not play around in areas that you're not familiar with, but there is a folder in here called caches or caches. You can open that one up, select all of these and then delete them. You'll see that it does ask me for a password. This is your administrator password for your Mac. Some files will be deleted. Others may require your Mac to reboot and then it'll delete it upon startup. The other location, we're gonna select go, go to folder again. And there's a little squiggly line next to the number one. It's called the tilde. So you wanna hold the shift and then the button next to the one to the left of the one, it looks like that. And then you do a forward slash library again. So this is a different location. And in here, there is another folder called caches or caches. We wanna open that one up. And very similarly, there's a whole bunch of files and folders in here. We're gonna select all of those and we're gonna actually go and delete all of those as well. I'm gonna trash them and then those are gone. Now I will say that be very weary when you are deleting your cache. It just means that you're gonna lose potentially settings of some applications. You're not gonna lose data, but when you next open up a specific application, you may see that things look slightly different. It's because some of the preferences or the settings may have been removed by deleting these caches and caches. So remember to comment below, let me know if it's cache, if it's cache, if, you, if it's cache, if you call it something different. Remember to keep up to date with all of my videos as well by subscribing so that you don't miss any of my videos. I know that there'll be stuff in there that you'll want to be across releasing new videos that you'll definitely also find helpful. But that's it, thanks so much for spending the time. Do also like this video if you did like it. See you later.